Are you in the dark on renewables? Deloitte Global Insights and Climate Reality recently issued reports about renewables. Deloitte claimed wind and solar had gone from mainstream to preferred. Hard to believe that when they make up only 3.7% of the world's global energy supply. Deloitte claimed the levelized cost of energy gave wind and solar parity with the conventional electrical power generation like coal, natural gas, and nuclear. But that claim relies on what we call an abuse of the levelized cost of energy analysis. You see, wind and solar need 24-7 conventional electricity generation in the background because when the wind stops or the sun goes down, What's going to keep society operating warm and lights on? Probably a natural gas plant paired with other forms of conventional power generation. When you add up the real costs of putting wind and solar on the grid, they are much more expensive than conventional power. Not only that, it takes so much energy to make wind and solar devices that we get very little energy back. In fact, Professor Michael J. Kelly of Cambridge explains that wind and solar can't support basic society. Rapid decarbonization, shutting down the use of coal, natural gas, and oil would lead to mass deaths. Both Deloitte and Climate Reality claim that new advances like batteries, flywheels, pumped hydro, and compressed air will make it easy to integrate more wind and solar to the grid. But at what cost? And what about these storage devices? In 2016, there was only about 12 gigawatt hours, enough to fill global electricity demand for all of 15 seconds, with pumped hydro, enough to fill demand for all of 10 minutes. But when we look around the world, the more billions of dollars the governments have put into wind and solar subsidies, the less stable the grid. In Australia, power prices are like a yo-yo these days. They have lots of free wind and solar on the grid. They've paid billions of dollars, and they've just bought a new big Tesla battery. People are at their wit's end. Power prices are so high, people are pushed into heat or eat poverty. Wind and solar were supposed to reduce reliance on fossil fuels. That hasn't happened. They were supposed to reduce carbon dioxide emissions. Wind and solar were supposed to help stop global warming. But renewables are not the solution to climate change or climate justice. As Google engineers discovered after years of experiments on an unlimited budget, renewables can't solve climate change. And making people poor can't be considered climate justice. So, why are we doing this? Matthew Nisbet reports that powerful billionaires with vested interest in wind and solar have driven the conversation for almost a decade by funding environmental groups to push climate hysteria and renewables as a solution. They plan to make billions on global cap and trade because renewables generate renewable energy certificates, a bit like printing carbon money. So don't be in the dark on renewables anymore. Friends of Science Society has issued a new report challenging the claims of Deloitte Global Insights and Climate Reality. 